So my name is Mike Farke, I'm a consultant in sleep medicine at Evelina London um, and I'm coming to do uh, a talk at the Patient Safety Congress. Um, I think it's really important, I love the idea that the Patient Safety Congress brings together all of the people that are interested in trying to make things better for patients with that definite focus on safety and I think there's a lot of really useful conversations that need to happen around that. Um, what I am keen to do is to make sure that we have the right emphasis on making sure that everything that we need to make sure the patients get the best outcome is in place. And I think sometimes we lose sight a little bit of the whole picture uh, in terms of what we're doing. So that's what I'm coming to talk about. Uh, so I'm a paediatric sleep specialist. Um, I've had an interest in sleep medicine since I was a teenager. Um, and my job now is very much about trying to help children and families with complex and rare sleep difficulties. Um, sleep problems in kids are really common uh, and most kids don't need to see a sleep doctor. And um, what we're there to do is try and help with the really complicated uh, cases and make those better. But sleep's fascinating. Sleep is, you know, you spend a third of your life asleep and from my point of view it is full of really weird and wonderful and amazing and brilliant things. And again it's an area where I think science and story comes together very much sleep. Everybody sleeps, everyone's got a story about sleep and I love it. The focus of my lecture will very much be, so I, I, I absolutely believe that the patient needs to be first in uh, thinking about how we make this better. But I think sometimes that focus means that we forget that to get the best outcomes for the patients, we actually have to look after our staff as well. So the, the focus of my lecture will very much be talking about um, the, the staff side of that and what we need to do to make sure that everything is in place so that the patients get the best possible outcome. A lot of my initial focus around doing this work was very specifically uh, looking at rest and breaks. Um, NHS staff often work shifts that may be 12 to 13 hours in length and actually you just you cannot physically sustain function and performance over that length of time unless you take a break. Um, we're not very good at remembering to take breaks so some of the initial work that we did looked at that and actually at the very beginning of doing this um, it was an article by Sean Lynch from the HSJ was one of the first ones that really helped us to get the issue being talked about a bit more. I think it's built an awful lot from that over the last few years. Um, and the whole idea of well-being in the NHS is now something which there is a lot more focus. There was an entire report published at the beginning of this year uh, by Sir Keith Pearson from Health Education England, very much focusing on that. But that's where all of this began and it's still an absolutely essential um, uh, area of focus. An air traffic controller isn't allowed to work for longer than two hours before they take a mandatory break. Why should a nurse or a doctor work for 12 hours um, without taking a break if what we are looking at at the end is patient safety? So I think involving patients and families is really important because often it's we need the stories of people who've experienced uh, the healthcare system and where things have gone wrong to be able to really emphasise um, the, the scale of that um, and what we need to do to make it better. And I think those stories drive change in a way that dry statistics don't. There is a history in the NHS that we haven't necessarily been as uh, open and proactive about airing patient safety issues as we should have been. And I think very much in the last 10 years we've seen that change. But we are only able to get good outcomes if we talk about what's gone wrong and how to make it better and then to proactively look at the things that uh, can improve outcomes for everyone. And I think we need everybody involved in that. So I think conver conversations like this, congresses like this are really important in trying to pull everything together.